Kinseed is a life sim adventure RPG developed by Pixel Count Studios. In this unique life sim you'll play not just as a single character, but through generations of your family, growing your reputation, your skills, and your empire. And thank you Pixel Count Studios for the review code. Your story begins when you and your 13 year old twin sibling are adopted by your Uncle Bill to live out a peaceful life on his farm. Here you'll be tasked with some chores to help out your uncle, like collecting items, feeding the animals and making deliveries. You'll learn a lot in this time like social interactions, farm tasks, completing requests and the general lay of the land. As the days go by you'll find yourself having some strange dreams until someone named Twig sends you a mysterious letter telling you he's going to take you to see Mr. Fairweather. In this meeting you'll be offered a contract. In exchange for four years of your life, Mr. Fairweather will allow your spirit to continue on through your family's generations, where you'll retain your skills, friendship and knowledge, as he suspects you're capable of doing many great things. Of course, you accept, where you'll immediately be transported four years into the future to your 18th birthday to begin your dynasty. As you're now 18 and a fully fledged adult, a lot of things will now be open up to you. First of all, you'll now own your uncle's farm, so you'll be responsible for maintaining that. You can also learn combat and explore further beyond the village. You can marry, have kids, and you can buy and manage shops. From here, your real journey begins. The thing about Kinseed is that while there is a main story, there's much more to drive you while you play this game. The whole idea here is to continue on your legacy through generations, becoming more powerful by increasing your skills, knowledge and your wealth. Not only will you see changes in your own story, but the world around you will change as well. People will get married, have kids and die just like you. This is why I found Kinsey to be such a unique game and why I really enjoyed my playthrough. The world you'll play in, known as the Land of Quill, is kind of massive. It's divided into these sections where you can find towns, homesteads, festival areas, swamps, forests, and more. The Land of Quill is beautiful and detailed and you'll find it filled with a bunch of people going about their daily lives, making the world feel quite alive and organic. Exploring is very rewarding as you'll often stumble across new places that might offer you some sort of value, such as new towns with new products to buy, traveling salesmen, animal races, auctions, and even the option to adopt children. For most of these things, the game won't guide you to it. You'll simply learn about it once you find it. Moving on to one of the main parts of this game, which is building your family. Basically, every single person except a few main characters are dateable, so you're definitely not short on options. You'll need to build a relationship with whoever you choose by giving them some items, and then soon enough you'll be able to date them. From there you can initiate a marriage ritual and then you'll be united as one and they'll move in with you on your farm. After your new spouse moves in you can assign them tasks on your farm such as tending to crops or animals and you can even send them out exploring to bring back goodies. Should you choose to, you can also attempt to have kids that stun through this little mini game of sorts and if successful you'll have a kid. Unfortunately, my game seemed to glitch out at this part where I would be successful in the minigame but I would never actually get the kid. But lucky for me, there is also an option to adopt so that's exactly what I did. Kids can also complete farm chores as well as doing some other tasks like studying and social interactions that will benefit you if you continue on as them through your lineage. In this way and many others, the game really rewards you for the effort you put into each generation. Accomplishing things will reward you in the next generation with higher skill levels and educating your kids will do the same. If you just fly through, you won't see nearly as much improvement between generations. Another major aspect to Kinseed is the fact that you can buy and manage several shops which will be passed down through the generations of your family to grow. Luckily, you can hire staff to manage your shop while you're away, where they can make products and barter on your behalf. You'll need to make sure you keep the shop stocked by ordering supplies, and of course, you'll need enough money to pay your staff or they'll quit. 
Running these shops successfully will grant you some perks such as more stock to buy, discounted stock, customers selling you items and more. The crafting itself is quite complex and varies for different types of items. For example, making powders you'll need to cut up ingredients and grind them. For potions you'll have to extract liquid and use dye to match the colours. For crafting tools you'll need to melt metal and sharpen the tools. There's quite a wide range of tasks to do and it can be quite complicated and difficult to do at times. On top of all of this, the land of Quill is a very culture rich place and the rituals that are performed here can actually have quite an impact on your gameplay. The people of Quill worship a number of goddesses where offerings can be made to receive blessings and avoid curses. Twice a season you can make offerings to the goddesses where each offering will provide a benefit and a subsequent curse. Benefits can include double harvesting, second life chances in combat, and higher chances to conceive. Curses can be things like crops taking longer to grow, lower quality harvests, and even turning your kids into frogs. If you don't make offerings during these times, you'll be cursed anyway as punishment. I learnt this the hard way as I woke up one day to a missing daughter and a talking frog in my house. On top of this, you'll also need to make daily offerings in a little bowl outside your house to ensure your farm is looked after, and if you don't, all your apples will be rotten. I love that the game kind of lets you choose whether to take part in these rituals, which of course you don't have to, but then it can have quite an impact if you don't. This is undoubtedly one of the most atmospheric pixelated games I have ever played. The environments are so detailed and there's such a large variety as well from cute little towns, swampy areas, graveyards, farms, you name it. When it rains or storms, it honestly feels real in a way and then you've got the soundtracks which again are just so well done and detailed. They've made a unique soundtrack for I think pretty much every area and it really fits the vibe. So you'll get like creepy music for the graveyard or upbeat music for your farm. Even some shops have their own unique soundtrack, such as the blacksmith. It just makes the game feel so immersive, even for a pixelated one. As you might expect, with this game being newly released from early access with quite a bit of new content, there can be some performance issues. I have experienced several different types of bugs, with most having no impact to gameplay, but I did experience some bigger ones such as quests not progressing properly and also, as I mentioned before, successfully conceiving a child but then not actually getting a child. With the quest bug that I had, this did actually occur for a main quest, which was really unfortunate. I tried many, many ways to try and fix it with no luck. I've no doubt the developers will fix the majority of these issues within a short time of the release date, so as soon as they do that, I will be back to continue with my quests. I was very impressed with this game. I was giddy in the first few hours of gameplay as the story unfolded and I got to learn exactly how detailed this game was and all of the exciting things I'd be able to do. Obviously, as I mentioned, there are some performance issues which I'm hoping will be fixed relatively soon. And I also felt that it got quite repetitive at times, especially with the smaller quests. I was also told that more content will be added at no cost in the future, so there's also that to look forward to. If you're after a good life sim where you can really take your time to explore, learn at your own pace, play how you want, and constantly be finding new and exciting things to do, this is your game. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like or comment if this review has helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!